I signed with Warrior last September, so after uh, it was nice actually after the championship weekend, um, you know, got a good got a call from some of the Warrior guys saying, hey, we really love to have you on our team. Wheeling and dealing, split in two. What a drive to the cage by Berger. Well, I signed with Warrior in February. Um, you know, being represented by the company that represents the league, and I can wear that apparel out and represent that company it is a huge, is a huge thing for me. Hartzell thinking a deuce. How about Hartzell from long range with the long stick? It's a two-pointer. It's been a, a year of a lot of fun, a lot of hard work too. You know, the the, the fun part is is always great, but you know, making sure the product that we're wearing and. Uh, giving the feedback that they want to make sure that product continues to evolve and grow is, is a key piece. You know, Warrior is one of the best companies, makes the best sticks, shafts, and everything like that. And I've been using that stuff in college and to be represented by a, a company that I've been using in college and all throughout my lacrosse career, it's, 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 it's special. The biggest thing is they, they give us you know, a lot of free reign of letting them know, hey, what works for us, what works for you as a player, what works for you, you know, from a defensive, an offensive, a goalie, face-off. You know, those, those are you know, three very different parts of the game and all different players are using different kind of styles. So they do a really good job of soliciting specific player feedback. For example, maybe like, you know, Jesse Schwartz has a flimsy head. Goalies don't want a flimsy head, you know, they want to stop the ball. So maybe he gets a head, it's too flimsy, he'll tell them and they'll probably, they'll fix it and make it the head stiffer. Um, from a shooter standpoint, I'm not really an offensive player, score here and there, but uh, I, I don't know what their specifications are, but I'm sure if something goes wrong with their sticks or something they don't like, they'll let them know about it. From the defensive standpoint, um, you know, shafts that bend easy or break easy, you know, we'll tell them and they'll, they'll, they'll fix it and give us new products or let, let us know what products are best to use out there that are more durable. It, it's unique. I think it's one of those companies that really cares with the players. And, and by doing a player's club, you know, it really you know, lets the, the public know, hey, we care about what our athletes are doing, you know, what they're rocking and, and what they're going to be doing on and off the field. So I think them giving us the new products they get and us giving them feedback, it allows them to you know, tweak things, change things to our specifications, which we, what, we, what we like to use. The group that they've you know, conducted as, as a team is top notch. So for me to be a part of that kind of group and class is, is really you know, separated from anything. And then I mean, to be able to, to rock the best gear out there, the lacrosse gear, have kids really you know, asking for your shoes, your shirts, etc. You know that you know that hey, it's, this is great stuff. I think it hits that lacrosse market pretty hard. I mean, you, you look at it at lacrosse players these days, and they're always kind of pushing the envelope a little bit. There's a little funky trend to it. It's not all uh, you know, things that you would necessarily just wear on the lacrosse field, but they're hitting that kind of surfish snowboard. Um, level which is a little bit more streetish and it's unique but it's also something where you know you know, you know Kyle Hartzell or Paul Rabel had some influence into it so I think a lot of kids love that and they're able to say you know you know that's what Paul's wearing I want to rock that as well.